or uh, will it be green peppers or red tomatoes? Ooh. That's the question Rylan will be asking as he hosts the return of Ready Steady Cook. And he's here now to tell us all about it. I, honestly, this was part of my childhood. I'd come home from school and it'd be the first thing you'd put Ready Steady Cook in and see who was going to win. And you know and... you're home from school. Yes, it's totally. The same with me. And it's at the same time as well, 4.30. Which, which is, is the perfect amazing. time. Is it, is it the same format? It's exactly the same format. Um, so it's the Ready Steady Cook that all us lot that grew up with it and have known it forever yeah. will know and love. Um, we've just got a new part of the show. So instead of, you know, it used to be you have the 20-minute cook mm. and then the winning team, that chef would then make a dish. Well, now we just carry on the competition. So it goes from a 20-minute cook to a 10-minute cook. Uh -huh. um, so then there's, so there's two cooks in the show yeah. um, and they have to pick ingredients from the audience's cards, but the bottom row's wild card. So uh, they get three okay. ingredients for that 10 minutes and there's things like leftover birthday cake and things like that. But what the chef's made was fantastic. <laughs> Do you actually help or hinder him? Because you can cook, can't you? We I've, I, yeah, I mean, I said to the chef since we started, look, I'm not getting involved. This is nothing to do with me. I'm just going to go between. And if you need me, shout. And lo and behold, every single cook, Ryland, chop these herbs. Ryland, do this. Because we, we do it for real. It's not fake. It's not a telly 20 minutes. It's a real 20 minutes. Unless it's fish. And, yeah, I mean, I'll... Touch it and cook it, but I won't eat the fish, no. What what happened to what? Just when I was a kid, I fell on the, the fish counter in Sainsbury's. <laughs> and have you ever seen a hake up close? <laughs> it is the most ugly fish I've ever seen. And I fell on a hake, and you think my teeth are bad? It was like <laughs> right in my face. And since then, I wouldn't even touch a fishy finger. What about in a finger? I was going to say, what no, about a finger fall? No, that hake's ruined it for everyone. Don't, because I'm frightened. I've, I've not been on live telly for a long while, and I'm frightened I'll say something that's a swear word. So, what, not fish fingers or anything no, like that? No, I don't do fish. Wait, what about, what about get, get the Speakmans to sort you out? No, don't do fish. Sorry, sorry, Nick, Eva, love you. No. You're not doing no, that? No, since that don't, hike, he's ruined it for everyone. Are you, uh, did you contact um, Fern and Ainsley? Yes, yeah, so when, when they asked yeah. me to, to, to do the job, the first two people I called was Fern and Ainsley. Um, and I had a lovely chat with Fern, and she, I think Fern was more excited for me than I was at that point, which Aww. was hilarious, and, and she was so lovely. And then I called Ainsley, and I was a little bit worried about calling Ainsley, because I mean, although I've met Ainsley a load of times here, you know, to me, Ainsley was Ready Steady Cook when I was growing up, yeah. and everyone knows him so well for that show. And I rung him, and I was in Manchester at the time, and he was so lovely. And he was he just was getting his MBE as well. So that was a nice little fish. Got him in a me, good like, well done on your MBE. <laughs> um, but yeah, he was so lovely. He went, just go and make it your own, enjoy it, you're gonna love it. Um, and he just said, just put you into it because the show runs itself and it yeah. really, really does. It's not about me, it's about the contestants and the chefs, and that's what's lovely. And obviously we're all being a bit more sort of eco and aware of yeah. the environment, and the show doesn't use the plastic bags. No. I remember the contestants used to come down with yeah. the shopping bags. We've completely changed. And look, with all due respect, we're not trying to be worthy for the sake of being worthy. It's not one of those shows, but our goal is to try and be the most sustainable show on television. So we've reduced plastic on the show by physically the amount that we can. So all the food produce is ethically sourced. So we're looking at food miles as well. We film in Glasgow and we're really lucky to have a great fishery up there as well mm -hmm. with the local producer fish. We're using all local produce for the ingredients. So. We're cutting that carbon emission. I'm head of bins. I call yeah. myself head of bins on the set. It's a very important role. So we've got three bins, one for food waste, one for non-food waste, and then one for um, plastic recycling. Mm -hmm. mm. And um, they were like, you can decide what one's what. So whenever I see anything going near a bin mm -mm. that's nothing to do with that bin, oh, I've, I've got the right arm. Because you're also doing mm -hmm. quite a lot of food on a budget as well, aren't you? Yeah, so the budgets haven't changed. Yeah. The budgets haven't changed from 10 years ago. Really? So we do four bags, basically. So the contestants will either have a £3.50 budget, £5, £7.50, luxury is £10. And you sit there and go, £10, I'm sure, you know, the inflation, you mm -hmm. take on that. But no, we do it. And you've got Ryland's pantry as well. So behind you, it sounds dirtier than it is. <laughs> um, behind you, you've got my pantry. So in there, you'll have things like flour, eggs, you know, your cupboard essentials, Stores, spices, cupboard, yeah. herbs. Um, but what the dishes that have been made on the show are genuinely, to me, a Michelin star. Like, they're unbelievable. What you can do in 10 minutes, yeah, 20 minutes amazing. with those ingredients is fantastic. And have you learnt any tips and stuff? So much. Like what? So, well, for a start, I bought some sumac and right. some harissa. OK. And that's changed my life completely. I didn't even know what... Sumac's quite the soury stuff, isn't it? Sumac's a, a, is, it's like a Middle Eastern spice. Yeah. So, it, weirdly enough, this is going to sound... So, I'm not a chef. It tastes Middle Eastern. 
Right. Does that make sense? It makes anything taste a bit Middle Eastern. But it's got... It's almost a bit citrusy, isn't it? A little bit, yeah. There's definitely, like, a fragrance to it. Mm -hmm. There's, like, a fragrant taste to it. But it's just little things. Like, Romy, who's an amazing chef, she's a real Asian-inspired chef. And um, everything... It's got to have that base of onion, ginger, garlic, and just them three little ingredients yeah. that we've all probably got knocking about in the fridge. Yeah. The Change great thing everything. is that, you know, doing the shows that you do, you can you can pick it all up in the supermarket during the sweep and then take it through exactly. there and do that. Exactly. So I come from my supermarket to supermarket sweep to my kitchen. Are you doing some more of those? You'll have to wait and see. OK. Have to wait and see. <laughs> are you, you have, I mean, you are a good chef, as we saw on, on MasterChef. You're a very good cook. You have had some... Mistakes. Yeah. Did you attempt a Nigella pizza? I once? did. So I think it was a Saturday or Sunday morning. You know, you get up, you're know, being a bit lazy, and Nigella's like, "Well, hello, it's so lovely mm -hmm. to see you. Welcome to my food bar." And you're like, "Oh, hello, Nige." And she was like, "I'm going to make a pizza." And I thought, "Oh, what's a pizza? It's basically a pizza base made out of mints." Oh, I thought, well, that sounds like a big burger. That does oh, sound it nice. tasted like foot. <laughs> oh, I've done it wrong. No, I've done it wrong. I would have rather had the ache. To be honest, <laughs> yeah, no, it tasted like floor. It did. It did. Take so, up, floor. Not so good. No, not but so thank good. God I've got five amazing chefs. That yeah, know exactly. Doing on my show. Exactly. You can oh, rely well, on well, them. It's lovely to see you. Thanks yeah, for having us. It's so in nice. Today. Always um, lovely. Ready, steady, cook uh, starts today at four thirty on uh, on BBC One. Yeah, every day, every yeah. weekday. Nice to see you back in here. It's lovely, oh. honestly. I'm just trying to see what I can have a rob up. A few uh, things have changed. Keep your hands off. There's a off dog in the stuff, kitchen please. by the window. Don't touch that. That's Martin Frizzell's. Oh, is it? Oh, watch out. Not the bosses. <laughs>